guys welcome back to my channel my name is Nana and today we're playing some more The Sims 4 Seasons Ooh. She has a couple days off so she's just focusing on a couple of her hobbies to kind of get through the day finding it hard to really get her mind into one particular thing and some doing a bunch of things so stressed something major happening in my body or in my body and there, there well okay here's a fun fact life if you say it like life means body in my life, you're actually saying body in Dutch. So I guess that's why I got confused. I don't know why I'm explaining this, but there you go. Free, uh, free Dutch lesson. I'm able to focus properly on what she's doing. And luckily for her, she has a couple days off. But at the same time, I'm not so lucky because now she has so much time to think. You no, know, she and Salem broke up mm, last summer. So like seven, eight months ago. And for whatever reason lately it's just been hitting her like a truck she feels lonely she feels alone love the silence and her lonesomeness <laughs> she used to love being alone so much she could just entertain herself alone so incredibly well it's almost scary like i wouldn't say cassie's a loner but she does love being alone and after the breakup with Salem, it just seems like she just can't stand the silence around her. It seems maybe a little bit strange that I would just work out and then start working on my plant again, but I'm just trying to get my mind off thing. Cassie is kind of like me in a way, maybe a little bit more. I think I think Cassie has her life in order more than I do, to be honest. Let's be real here. Imagine that doing things to keep your mind occupied is more important than anything else at this point. But I can imagine that a shower or anything that kind of relaxes your mind is just not what you want. And she's not that smelly. It was just like a quick workout. It was nothing too intensive, just some deodorant and we're fine. Other hobbies has been um, playing the violin, something she doesn't know. And it's, I guess it's similar to a guitar, but it's, it's at the same time, it's like so different. And besides playing guitar and um, being able to play the piano, she doesn't have any other instruments that she can play. So I really want her to master the violin as well. And I think we're doing fine i don't know what level we are in quite yet i mean we didn't master the guitar but we're quite high in that one and two are in level two we're five and ten our garden just a little bit let's fertilize some of our plants i'm just gonna randomly pick one and um, i think they changed the animations for the planting because i don't remember it looking like this uh, or maybe it did i don't i don't i don't really remember uh shame on me even though i play a lot of plants her plants are more like winter or fall trees and then or, or plants and some of these are um spring and i must i must have a summer plant as well or i guess i don't have it yet i don't know how it works being sheltered because obviously we have an indoor garden it can be like oh no no how could you have a garden indoors excuse me I can do anything I want. Not really. What else is she going to do? She loves plants and she doesn't have a house. Like, what else are we going to do? We're excited to go and visit Salem later today. And yeah, you guys are going to be like, what? Like, I'm heartbroken. I'm trying to get my mind on things. And now I'm going to visit Salem. I decided that she's going to ask for Salem's help. Kind of get an excuse to go see him. It's, it's kind of nerve-wracking. This is like the first time she's going to see him since the breakup, which is like seven months or something. You haven't... <gasps> Do you hear this? This is the sound of me slapping my cheek. This must be fate. The f I am shook. This is so perfect. We are ready. We're trying to figure out a way to come and visit Salem without it being too weird and too obvious. How to come over to Salem and spend some time with him. That'd be great. And here I am sitting in my coat. But I guess uh, it doesn't really matter what I'm wearing. I mean, he's the one who broke it up anyway. And, um, you know, even if I sit here in my underwear, if he doesn't want me back, he doesn't want me back. Simple sad. <laughs> Naked and for all I care about. I think he still doesn't want me back. I grab myself something to eat and I'm just chatting away with him, kind of keeping, a, you know, some small talk. Not, not too much. Oh my God, I could actually kiss him, but I don't want to kiss him because I don't, I don't think we should. But maybe I should see if I can kind of, uh compliment the way he looks i mean he looks good so i need to compliment him on, on the way he looks i mean his house is kind of like in a bad state because i oh you're only saying that it looked good because you want something from me don't you like he's the one who invited us over i feel like he looks a little drunk i'm not sure salem just looks kind of drunk to me what the heck and there's like a lot of glasses or anything around like it's nothing that shows that he's been drinking but he was acting kind of weird. Like, I would almost say he's drunk. We're feeling really uncomfortable right now trying to figure out 
like was this was this like like what's the point of coming here like i i i regret it i wanted to see him so bad i was so nervous but so happy that he called me at the same time that i was trying to find an excuse to come and see him i was going to use the excuse that i want to know if he perhaps knows where uh norris is and i figured if i come to his place he could perhaps help me maybe we can go together so i feel less awkward about that too because damn that's kind of awkward but it looks like salem has kind of locked himself weird i don't know what he's doing and he's just avoiding me and he comes out of his room as soon as i do something up and he wanted me to be here but now that i'm here he's just i don't know what he's doing let me know down below what you think that salem's intentions were to call over because I honestly cannot understand this dude. Do some detective work and I really just want to get it over with. I'm stressing out. Get back in my bed. I want to get everything over and done with. And I just, I just cannot be bothered. She's just going to let her aggression out on um, his mailbox apparently. <laughs> I an attempt to have a decent conversation. I really didn't think it was going to be this awkward. But apparently it really is. Like it is so awkward. It looks like he's trying to distract himself being on the computer and pretending I'm not even here, which is like so not Salem. Like, what is up with him? He really, really does seem drunk. I mean, I don't know. He's wearing his good suit. I'm not saying that that's like a sign of drunkenness. I mean, I could, you can look good and not be drunk, but there's just this weird kind of vibe coming from him. And I honestly, at this point, don't even know if we're ever going to be fine together. And it's breaking my heart and i think that's making me worse i think that's making my doubts and my thoughts worse at this point like I cassie put your big girl panties on salem do you do you know anything about, about norris remember my ex and uh do, do you remember if he uh if he like moved somewhere or if he uh like anything dare to ask me about your ex to me to talk about your ex really you're that low the two of them are arguing Salem seems to think that he only she only came here to talk about her ex and then she's trying to mock him even further Miko really desperately seems to be wanting to hang out with me I'm like no Miko leave me alone go away I would never insult anyone or anything but I'm just gonna shout at him just for a little bit I need to get off this frustration this has been boiling up inside of me I'm so in love with this dude I don't want to acknowledge he's changed he's like not the person I fell in love with anymore and I don't understand why I don't understand why he's so enraged with me. I I tried my best to love him the best I could and all that I get back is just this, this attitude, this this anger and this these these comments. He's telling me like I smell like I'm sorry I couldn't shower. Like I know I smell. Okay, I didn't take a shower today. Okay, I didn't take a shower. I've done something really, really stupid. I have come to Norris his apartment kind of almost heartbroken it's really weird and it almost makes me remember the times that I spend with this dude and I just feel rather sentimental I spent time with my ex and I just came over to see my other ex and somehow he's looking rather friendly tonight and I don't know what it is but I want his company after spending time with Salem and just being denied like that i'm just feeling rather mixed i'm trying to get my thoughts together but i just i just don't really know what to do with myself at this moment myself talking to norris and we're almost <gasps> oh my gosh she kissed him on the cheek oh my god cassie it seems like she's trying to find some solace in norris in in his presence in the fact that you know her ex doesn't want her back and he just yelled at her for even just just i don't know for for stupid things and he just seemed so drunk and i know that he probably doesn't mean it because like i said he's just seemed drunk and not not, not with me but i don't know norris just seems so so sweet all of a sudden and i know this is not why i'm here and i'm supposed to find out whether or not he has some other kids and I, I don't know like something in me is just saying i want more i just i just i want his company i i miss I miss the company of wrong of me. Like I don't, I shouldn't need his company to make me happy. I shouldn't be with him to to get over Salem, but I want to. I want his company tonight. I, it doesn't matter what anyone says. I want him, and I don't want him. I want his company. I want the feeling of being together with Salem while not being with Salem. I want to feel like I am together with Salem. And if I'm, re I'm living it through, I'm living it through. 
Norris right now. Like, this guy makes me feel alive, and I haven't felt like that in a long time. And she's just so confused about her feelings. I feel like she's just, like, so alone right now, not sure what to do with this heartbreak, that she's longing for this dude that is terrible. Like, he cheated on her, cheated three times, she has different kids, and yet tonight he looks like a snack i don't know how but one thing led to another and we're actually heading back to his apartment i thought i was going home and yet i'm not i'm i'm coming back home with this dude and it looks like we're about to do something that i've never dreamed about i've never dreamed that at this moment at this time out of everyone i would be the first one to cave and find someone else and i feel absolutely disgusting this is not what i want but at this moment it is what i want it is what i'm longing for i'm longing for love and and mistaking longing for lust at this point and uh, I'm doing something with someone I don't have feelings for pretending like like we mean something to each other but I'm pretending I'm still asleep because I just don't want to face the reality of this right now I'm hoping he goes away so I can just leave and not have him see not only did I not find out if he had any kids I slept with my ex all while I'm trying to get back with my other ex which sounds like really dubious but we know what i mean this feels so awkward like is he just gonna stand dude <laughs> oh my god oh my god he is so pathetic he doesn't even dare to ask her in person he's like texting her like hey do you want to go on a date and i'm like no thanks i don't know i guess i kind of gave myself away by saying nope um like dude it's, it's never gonna be anything between us i am not even going to bother anymore i'm just going to leave i messed up big time pretend it's never happened pretend that it never never flipping did please i just i just i just don't ever want to see you again <sighs> she's just shivering because she's so disgusted by herself going back home i put on my coat or my sportswear apparently i don't know where my coat is but i guess norris took my coat hmm? um i had it straight into bed i cannot believe what just happened and i just want to sleep it off and pretend that it never did Dude, my neighbors are always here just banging on my door asking me to be silent. He's angry as heck and I just I can't be bothered opening the door. I'm kind of afraid. Can you kindly keep the noise down? I can hear you through the drywall. Please be considerate. Other people live here too. Well, I think you're the one who needs to be considerate, Marcus, because you are so not. I never knew that he was such a bitch. Like I think that with age he got him. He got some issues. Let's put like Oh, it's just such a big mess i need to call my best friend i need to and i'm talking about savannah only savannah could understand what i'm going through because savannah savannah has been through a lot as well it's 7 a.m i barely slept but i have to get up i have to get this on my chest once talking savannah is offering to come over but i just i just i just don't want to say no i just i just need to be alone i need to work this out savannah's giving some good points and saying girl you can do whatever you want even if you're even if you regret it even if you hate the fact that it's happened you you don't have to feel guilty about it you're not together anymore you are not a thing you don't have to be res like you don't have to explain yourself why you do things he said no he rejected you you did not reject him and if he doesn't want you that's his loss but at least like you're an adult you don't have to explain yourself to things to you we all make mistakes and i know this is so not for you you would never do these things but you know, heartbreaks and sadness really change the person and I think that's what you're experiencing. I think I think you just have to go through it and learn from this and just like you once told me, I'll be fine. You will be fine. It looks like she's making herself some breakfast. I honestly don't feel like eating, but I have to do something, so I can't just starve myself, you know, that's not healthy. So I'm having some, actually, what am I having? I have a microwave dinner, which I don't even think she put in the microwave, but she's still eating it. I guess a cold microwavable meal is fine too. I mean, I'm an adult, I live alone, I can do what the heck I want. And this outfit or a couple outfits because I wanted to have some, you know, different, um, different outfits to pick from depending on how cold it was in the winter and it's kind of fitting that she puts on the warmest outfit of all christmas how am i going to survive love day how am i gonna how am i gonna survive that i just don't want to survive that now also um i'm just gonna take a quick little break from the um calendars so um what was i going to say okay um it's gonna come it's gonna come it's gonna come back to me if we could have like an agenda system where you write down for example uh monday 8 p.m outing. now when it's 8 p.m you can notification and all you have to do is click on it 
and then your sim will automatically call like everyone together and do it or something like i think that'll be fun because you can kind of plan out i don't know like something like that because sometimes you have thoughts and ideas you want to you, you know um you want to you know you want to you want to participate in these ideas and then you're like oh i have to wait because it's not like time yet you can't really plan ahead so i i don't know about you but i would love for that to be a thing with these plans um okay so we can sell all or super sell what else is there to do wait super sell oh 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 that's good you can sell everything in a small area that's something i like that's that's great that's that saves you so much time and so much trouble it's her own little area her own little garden and greenhouse it'll be so fun but right now i guess it's just not in it for us i really should go ahead and decorate the trees so i'm gonna do a tree skirt and pick white and gold and it's kind of sad i guess in a way for her to be making the tree all by herself but who else is she gonna do it with i mean there's nobody else and we're freezing we're so cold but i really don't want to turn up the heater and get a bill because apparently it's really expensive oh she's making the tree and it's i just it's, it's kind of a sad it's a sad side you know it's a sad side that she's doing it alone but whatever when you're alone you do things alone right and maybe it's gonna make her happy just seeing a nicely decorated tree and i think it's also reminding her of her youth which she never managed to actually decorate a tree so this is like her first proper tree and oh my god can you imagine and um i don't know what else we can do like a topper perhaps like do red and white modern um, I think we added some lights. I don't really know what we did because I can't really tell. It looks like Betty is really interested. I'm hoping she's not going to destroy my tree because that's what my cats do. They destroy the, they flipping destroy the Christmas tree. Cheery decoration. A well-decorated tree spreads holiday cheer. So it's definitely something that is um, making her feel better, I guess. I don't really see any popcorn and cranberries. Oh, no, I just, oh, okay, I'm going for this. I just, I just feel like it sounds so ridiculous. Like it's something I need in my life. Laggy after the update. So, um, I guess that's that. But at least some of the bugs should be fixed. Oh my God, Cassie's just like throwing them around like crazy. Um, ornaments, red and gold. I'm hoping that this will complete the tree. It's looking kind of bare. Um, Actually, it's looking rather bare. I'm hoping that we can actually add some things. Perhaps light controls. Okay. Um, light tree, I guess. I think it's all this waiting for us is to light the tree. Oh my god. It's such a pretty sight. Like, it's snowing outside. And we're just... Aww. Ooh. Damn, that looks good. I don't want to reset my decoration. I mean, I barely see any decorations if that's a thing. The tree. I just, I just, can I place these under a tree perhaps? I don't know if that's the thing. Just drag and then put them. No, that's not a thing. Um, sneak a present. I don't, I don't, I don't think I would do that. But hey ho, the tree is set. It looks, I, I, I don't know, like it says here there's a present pile, but I don't really see anything. So maybe the tree is bugged as well. Let me know what you think. Do you think this tree is bugged or that we're just terrible at decorating the tree? Because um, it could be uh, both ways. I mean, I, I like the ornament on top. I just don't really see anything else. Like reset topper, tree skirt, garland. I don't see anything. It just, it just looks like a plain tree. Guys, if this is a bug please let me know <laughs> anyway um feeling festive okay so oh we can all bug uh, oh oh my god cassie no this is so her life oh my god i thought i saw someone else in the apartment the heck my neighbor just came in like oh no my christmas tree Oh my god, 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 Marcus, Marcus, if you don't get the heck out of my apartment, I told you guys, my neighbors are so flipping rude. My Christmas tree went up in flames and, uh, yeah, all there's left is the presents now, so that's fun, huh? isn't that fun? All that's left are the presents. Maybe I can move this so that I can actually move this. Well, there we go. Um, well, that was that. Uh, yeah, our, our Christmas tree went up in flames. <laughs> 
anyway i always thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next part bye guys